Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. For this video tutorial we're going to see how putting the modifiers in the right place is important on your Blender scenes and by putting them in the right place we're talking about the modifier stack that appears at the modifiers tab right here. We're going to see a couple of examples here just to see how putting the modifiers in the right place is important for your scenes. Now we have the default cube selected and I'm going to add a modifier and add a subdivision surface modifier. The subdivision surface modifier is applied on the cube and you can see the results in the viewport. Now I'm going to increase the subdivisions for the view from 1 up to 3 and I'll also increase the render subdivisions up to 3. What I'm going to do now is move to the modifiers, click add modifier and I'm going to add a displace modifier. Let's quickly set a material for the displace modifier. I'm selecting the text material, move over to the materials and I'm going to change the type. Let's change it to clouds. Okay. And now you can see that the displace modifier is applied and again is applied on the object after the subset modifier is applied. And this is pretty important. Now let's say that we want to smooth the object here. We will add another subdivision surface modifier and the second subdivision surface modifier will take the displaced object and again the first subset modifier is the one that adds extra geometry to the object and then the displace modifier creates a displace pushes the polygons of the objects out or in depending on the texture here and after that the second subset modifier is the one that smoothens the object even further now, some might think that since the final subsurf modifier is the one that smoothed the object, we can delete this one or let's click to uncheck it in the viewport and then keep the final subdivision surface modifier. Now, this doesn't work. And this happens because the displace modifier uses the extra geometry generated by the first subdivision surface modifier to create the object as we want it. So it's important to put the modifiers here in the correct place for everything to work right in Blender. Now let's see another example of smart placing the modifiers in the modifier stack. I'm deleting the cube and I'll hit Shift A to add mesh. Let's add the circle. I'll increase the amount of vertices from 32, let's set it up to 64. I'll hit the tab key to switch from object to edit mode. Hit E to extrude, right mouse button click to cancel any movement for the extruded vertices. And now I'll hit S to scale the extruded vertices out. I'll hit the A key to deselect and A again to select all and hit Ctrl and N to recalculate the circle normals. And then hit the tab key to switch from edit to object mode. Now let's say that we want to smoothen the object right here and we also want to apply uh, some solidify to add some depth to it. What we can do is add the solidify modifier and what I'll do now, let's duplicate this one so we can see both the examples here. Shift D and X, I'm duplicating the circle here, let's see them both. Now we can add the solidify modifier, increase the thickness. Let's do it for both our circles here. Let's set the thickness to 0 0.2. Okay, this one. And 0 0.2 for this one as well. Now as you can see, we're having those edges right here and you can clearly see them in the viewport. Now one might think that in order to make these edges go, you have to simply add a subdivision surface modifier. Okay. We've said we've put the subdivision surface modifier below the solidify modifier and that means that the object is getting the depth here and then the object is taking the subsurf modifier and the subsurf modifier smoothing the object. But as you can see now we are losing the shape of the circle and we, you can see that we're having these edges here that work like that. In order to have the object using both the 
subdivision surface and the solidify modifier we're going to do the following i click add modifier and add the subdivision surface modifier they look similar but let's see what happens if we put the subsurf modifier above the solidify modifier all right you can see now that we're still retaining the original shape of the circle but we're also getting smoother edges at around here so what happens here this object right here uses the subsurf modifier to smoothen the circle this circle and i'm hitting the tab key to switch from object to edit view smoothen the circle and then the solidify modifier works on the smoothed circle and then adds the depth to it while this one firstly solidifies the object and then the result of the solidify modifier uses a subsurf modifier and smoothens the entire thing with this simple example putting the modifiers at the right place is really very important for your scenes in Blender. I've also uh, have a scene, I think it was put together for Blender Diplom, I'll put some links at the video description where you can see that I'm using it about 11 or 12 modifiers to put together a nice abstract scene. Putting the modifiers in the right place in the modifier stack is pretty important. As always, the first modifier is applied on the object and then the second modifier is applied and works on the result of the first modifier and so on. So this is a nice quick tip for you. This is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.